we shall have a, a reading of scriptures bible reading is taken from proverbs chapter 30 from verses 29 to 31 proverbs chapter 30 from verse 29 there be three things which go well ye four are comely in going a lion which is strongest among beasts and turneth not away for any a grey hound and he goeth also and a king against whom there is no rising up the bible reading ends here the caption for this morning is winsome walk in tamil it is more beautiful peedu nadai vetti nadai the tamil bible it is given vinoda nadai is not vinoda nadai it's a comely walk a beautiful walk graceful walk majestic walk i can call it winsome walk here the bible talks about four bees there are three things which go well go well means walk well the literal meaning is three things which step well stride well every step every step it takes well in a very beautiful way there are three things which step or stride well a yes four four things are comely majestic beautiful comely in going or comely in taking steps comely in steps in strides the way they walk that will be very beautiful of four things and we want to have a video clipping of these four animals walking but we, uh, in the last minute we are unable to collect those video clippings but you would be able to imagine the beautiful walk what are those four things a lion which is strongest a valiant powerful the lion which is the strongest a valiant powerful among bees and turneth not away for any and i don't know how many of you know this fact many animals cannot walk backward many animals cannot walk backward and a lion will never walk backward a lion that turneth not away for any number 2 here it is given a grey hound it's not a grey hound it's actually a war horse it's a war horse and the third one an e goat or a he goat the walk of a he goat i i i love to demonstrate the beautiful walk the majestic walk of a he goat and the fourth one a king a lion a war horse a king a king against whom there's no rising up nobody can rise up against him that king not a king who would run away a king against whom there's no rising up so the walk of these four people that say in verse 32 if thou hast done foolishly in lifting up yourself or if thou hast thought evil lay thy hand upon thy mouth if thou hast done foolishly or if thou thou have walked foolishly in tamil ni paithiyama nadandirpan not as a lion not as a a uh, war horse not as an e goat not as a powerful king you walk like a paithio walk like a paithio 
he walked foolishly. Uh, uh, thou hast taught evil, lay thine hand upon thy mouth. My dear brother, my dear sister, um, the calmly walks or steps of these four things. I just, uh, when I was preparing this, I was reminded of a Tirukkural, about the majestic walk, the Tirukkural. I love to read the Tirukkural to you. Pugal Purinda Yillilorke, Pugal Purinda Yillilorke, Yilla Yhelvar Mun, Yer Vol Pidunadai, Yer Vol Pidunadai, Pugal Purinda Yillilorke, Yilla Yhelvar Mun, Yer Vol Pidunadai. What does it actually mean? Pugal Kuri Yilmalke. Ameya Paradavar Puhal Purinde Yil Ilodke Yil Walke Illadavarilke. They don't have a family life that can bring praise. A family life that can bring praise. Puhalukuriya, a life unto praise. They don't have that family, the family life. If somebody speaks bad about them, just like an oxen, a lion, a king, they don't have a life of praise. Then they can't walk like a lion. They can't walk like a he goat. They can't walk like a, an ox. Our life will be put to shame. Let him walk me. My dear brother, my dear sister. It's not only for the exam going children. For the blessing of everybody I tell. In this world, when we are living, we must have our head lifted up. God lifts up our head. He is the lifter up of our head. Our head should never put to shame. We must be able to lift up our head and walk. It's not of the arrogance. We are like a lion, like a he goat. Let come what me. Again, I remember one Tirukura Tamal Kela Pali Varakuda, the Tamal Kelo Kettepe Varakuda, the end of Virumbu River. Those who think that no blame should come upon them. The Tirukkur is very powerful. Tinei alavu thavarinu, panei alavu enniduvar. Tinei, a millet. They make a mistake to the level of a tinei, to a millet, but they will think that mistake was like a palmera tree, panamaram. How beautiful that word is. Those who don't want to have a blame on them. We are a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a how could that be possible? Even when you make a mistake to the level of a millet, you should consider that as a mistake to the level of a palmera tree. Some people even they make a mistake or they make a, a sin to the level of a palmera tree. Ah, Allah 
they don't consider that as a big thing. They don't consider that as a shame. That's the reason they are unable to lift up their head and walk. My dear brother, my dear sister, especially I concentrate on the children, those who are going for the exam, not only the examination, I want the children, the boys and the girls, the youth here. They are going to shape tomorrow's church. They are going to be the pillars of tomorrow's kami. They are going to be the pillars of this nation. They are going to give a destination to our nation, to the world at large. So you should walk like a lion, you should walk like a war horse, you should walk like a he goat, you should walk like a king against whom there is no raising up. So today I'm not just going to give you some four point message, so many Bible verses and all. But about lion, about he goat, about the war horse, I'm going to read you a couple of verses. Then I will conclude with some powerful points. I'll conclude some powerful points. Okay, just a few words about lion. A lion which is strongest, valiant, powerful among bees and turneth not away for any. Turneth not away for any. So about lion, there's one beautiful passage in Judges chapter 14. In Judges chapter 14. There Samson was giving a riddle to the people. Samson was giving a riddle to the people. That riddle we read in verse 14. Samson, Judges 14, 14. And he said unto them, Samson said unto them, Out of the eater cometh forth meat. Out of the eater cometh forth meat. And out of the strong came forth sweetness. He gave a riddle. Out of the eater. Out of the eater come, uh, came forth meat. And out of the strong came forth sweetness. And they could not... Uh, solve this riddle. They could not identify who is that eater. From him came forth meat and the strong came forth sweetness. And finally in verse 18, with the help of Samson's wife, they were able to solve the riddle and they say, what in verse 18, what is stronger than lion? What is stronger than lion. So in that passage we understand when we think lion, the king of the forest, the king among the bees, the strongest. We never think that lion is a very weak one. Even the strength of Israel was compared to the strength of lion. Israel will rise up like a young lion. So that talks about the strength of lion. In 2 Samuel chapter 17 verse 10, 2 Samuel chapter 17 as 10, the valiant men, the valiant men whose heart is as the heart of a lion, the strong heart, the heart of valiant men is compared to the heart of a lion, very bold, very strong. And I'd love to give you one more verse, Psalm 7, verse 2. Psalm 7, verse 2. A lion tears its prey in pieces which no one can deliver. When a lion gets its prey, it tears its prey in pieces and no one can deliver the prey from the mouth of the lion. is able to tear the enemy or its prey into pieces. At that time nobody can deliver that prey from the mouth of the lion. Uh, I love to give you another powerful verse about lion. Isaiah chapter 31, Isaiah chapter 31 verse 4. For thus saith, for thus hath the Lord spoken unto me. This is God is comparing himself to the lion. 
For thus hath the Lord spoken unto me, Like as the lion and the young lion roaring on his prey, when a multitude of shepherds is called forth against him, he will not be afraid of their voice, nor abase himself for the noise of them. So shall the Lord of hosts come down to fight for Mount Zion and for the hill thereof. Here it speaks about lion. It has taken its prey. Some ten shepherds are standing around. They are shouting, Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, ho, ho! Because ten shepherds were shouting, Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho! They think the lion will be scared and leave its prey and run away. No, no, lion will not do it. It will not be. You can't scare lion by shouting, Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho, ho! God says, I will have that type of zealous for Zion. When the Lord takes you, when the Lord sets you free, when the Lord upholds you in the right hand of His righteousness, so many people will shout, Oh, 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 oh. Because of that, the Lord is not going to leave you and run away. So we see lion for its boldness, its strength, and if it takes a prey, it will not leave it, you will consume it fully. We see a lot of characteristics of lion. And our walk must be the walk of a lion which doesn't turn away for any. For you to be successful in life, in business, in ministry, this boldness, this strength of a lion is very, very essential. Then he talks about war horse. There are a number of passages about war horse. To save time, I take only one passage, that's from Job, chapter 39. Job, chapter 39, from verse 19 to 25, verse 19 to 25, we read about the war horse. Hast thou given the horse strength? Hast thou clothed his neck with thunder? His neck... He calls it thunder. Has the clothes his neck with thunder? Verse 20. Can't thou make him afraid as a grasshopper? Can you scare a, a horse, a war horse? Can you scare a war horse as he will scare a grasshopper? The glory of his nostrils is dead. <laughs> The glory of his nostrils, the nose holes, that is terrible. The glory of his nostrils is terrible. Verse 21. He poweth in the valley and rejoiceth in his strength. He goeth on to meet the armed men. They are coming with the armed men. You might have seen the liquor to Kali. Here these horses, the soldiers are coming with shield, with knife, etc. Mm, it, it will be running against them. He's not afraid. So it says, goeth on to meet the armed men. Verse 22. He mocketh at fear. He mocketh at fear. For some people, but this war horse mocks at fear. Fear about the Galipanit. Yeah, what a beautiful expression. He mocketh at fear and is not affrighted. You cannot frighten it. It's not affrighted. Neither turneth he back from the sword. Because he's coming with the sword, it doesn't turn it back. Verse 23. The quer rattleth against him, the glittering spear and the sheath. Arrows, spear, everything is against the war horse. He swallowed the ground with falseness and rage. Mm -hmm, like that. 
swallowed the ground with fierceness and rage, neither believeth he that is the sound of the trumpet, neither believeth he that is the sound of the trumpet. Oh, he is blowing the trumpet, so he is going to win. Neither believeth the sound of the trumpet. Verse 25. He saith among the trumpets his ha, and he smelleth the battle afar off, the thunder of the captains and the shouting. That's, I don't know, a beautiful imagination. He saith among the trumpets, Ha ha! They are blowing trumpets. Ha ha! He saith for the trumpet. And he smelleth the battle of Araf, smelleth the battle of Araf, the thunder of the captains and the shouting. It smelleth. Not only hear it, it smells. Oh, war is coming. Let me go, fight. These are the characteristics of a war horse. Number three, he goat. Really, I love the walk of a he goat. And uh, sisters here, yeah, you must excuse me. In all the species, in all the species, I mean, not now, even my college days I have spoken on this in meetings. The walk, the majesty is always with a male species. You take peacock, pecan, ordinary cock and hen, in goat, he goat, she goat, the majestic walk is with a he good. Sisters, excuse me. And hundred percent I believe it is so with human beings also. The only the fallen human being thinks in a different way. You take any lion or lioness and you want to see majesty. You can see in a lion or a lioness. So here he mentions he good. You take an ox and a cow. A cow may be beautiful. People may worship a cow. But when you think about majesty in a bullock, in an ox, oxen, you can see that majesty. So here he talks about he goat. And in the Bible, he goat is compared for leadership, majestic leadership. All the leaders of the earth in the Bible, it is compared to a he goat. Alexander the Great is compared to a he goat, the king of Greek. And he goat is coming from the west, a he goat in chapter 8. Alexander is compared to a he goat. It talks about that majesty, that a ruling, that authority, that beauty. Probably you may use the word handsome, that beauty, that winsome walk of a he goat. And it says that he was coming against the Medo Persian Empire without his feet touching the ground. Tarayla Kal Pavar is sweeping. And you see the walk of a he goat. It appears that its feet don't touch the ground. I'll show you one passage in Isaiah 14, 9. It talks about the rulers of the earth. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It talks about the Antichrist. Antichrist was going to the hell. The hell was waiting for Antichrist to come. When Antichrist was coming to the hell, the hell was moving. Hell, uh, hell from beneath is moved for, 
for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee and all the chief ones of the earth. When, it wa when Antichrist was going to hell, already there are a lot of kings, dictators, heads of state, they all are in hell, the chief ones. When Antichrist was coming, ah, even one tana, even one tana. So there is a welcome for Antichrist in hell. So all the chief ones, they all are stirred up to receive this Antichrist. And in English it is translated, all the chief ones of the earth, in the original it says, all the he goats of the earth. For all these leaders, the chief ones, dictators, captains, they all are called he goats. Adibadiya. About these he goats, in Isaiah, sorry, Jeremiah 50 verse 8, I do believe that you are take out, taking down these notes. It's a very powerful passage, especially I want the children, even everybody, young one, youth, youth in the spirit, you all must have a walk. I wanted to, I have seen some people walking. The way they walk, we feel sleepy. Some people walk like a he goat. In Isaiah chapter 50 verse 8, it says this, be as the he goat before the flock. The he goat will go before the flock. Walk like a he goat. Walk like a lion. Walk like a war horse. Not walking like a duck. Huh? Not walking like a zombie. Zombie walk, you know what zombie walk? Don't know? Some people must go and see the mirror and walk before the mirror, you know, whether it's a zombie walk or a he goat walk. Some people know only cat walk. I'm not talking about cat walk here. To have victory, to have winsome walk. Go well. In your career, in your studies, in your ministry, in your business, go well. Have good strides. Majestic. Nothing to be ashamed when they talk about your personal life. There's nothing to be ashamed when they talk about every saint has got a past. I'm not talking about your past. Your present. Your present. The pride. The pride of God's blessing. The pride of success. And about king. If I want to read about king, there are more than 3,000 verses. So 3,000 verses about king, I don't want to take all those 3,000 verses, but I want to tell you what does the Bible mean by the word king. What is translated as king in Hebrew is called Melech. In Hebrew it is called Melech. That Hebrew word Melech appears nearly 2,523 times. The Hebrew word Melech. And many a time I strongly believe that Tamil was the origin of many other languages including Hebrew. There are a number of words in Hebrew, we can see its origin is from Tamil, even the word Elam, Elohim. Tamil Elam is the Hebrew Elohim. That's Hebrew El, English all, Arabic Al, all from that El, Elohim, Elam. Like that this Melek, it's more, almost equal to, equal to male, male anaban, male anaban, supramo, male. 
is slightly different from Yale. Yale is all in all. A king is not all in all. A king is Melek. Melanavan. The very better word, I don't know why, what that word Raja means. I know our Raja is there. And our church has got many Rajas. Pushpa Raja, Arime Raja. Uh, what are the other Rajas we have got? We got many Rajas. Here this word, I don't know what does the word Raja actually means. Melek is the equivalent is Arasan. Arasal Iravan. Ur Arasai, Ur Nattai, Ur Aachiyai, Nadatthi Iravan. Arasan is the better translation for Melek. Avana Ellarukku Melanam. And the Aras, and the Nad, and the government. And the government la Avana Melanam. Melek. The word Melek is translated as king in 2518 times out of 2523 times out of 2518 times it is translated king 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 and two times it is translated as royal and three more times in different ways in three more times in different ways so it is melek you must walk like a melek not as a Kirlanavan, but as a Melanavan. You must walk like a Melek. And what is that king? The definition of that king is given here. It's not just like uh, in any ordinary king. Here it said, king against whom there is no rising up. Against whom there is no rising up. So here I have shown you a few verses or a type of a definition about lion, about war horse, about uh, he goat, about a king against whom there is no rising up. That type of almay, that type of a capacity, prowess, prowessness. My dear brother, my dear sister, especially for the children and for everybody in your business, in your ministry, in your family life, in your interpersonal relationship, you can apply these characteristics. I'm going to share with you very quickly, what I've done is only an introduction, about those four things, their walk, their steps, strides, their lifestyle. There be Pidu Nadai. Now I'm going to share with you seven points. I love that everybody would take them, especially the boys and the girls and the youth, and especially those who are preparing for a success. In, in whatever the field may be. You are preparing for a success. These are the seven points which are essential for you to keep your head up and walk. Okay. Be ready to take down these points. Number one. Strong, be strong, be valiant, be powerful. I call this Valimai. Be strong. Whatever you may do, be strong in that. Be strong in your belief. The Bible says, Be strong in the Lord, be strong in His strength. Be strong in your conviction. Whatever you do, you be strong. Don't be a fluid. Don't be liquid. Whatever you do, be strong. Don't do anything. Just because you are afraid of others, you can't walk like a lion, you can't walk like a war horse. Because I'm afraid of the society. Because what my friends would say. Because what my relatives would say. No, be strong. Be strong. My dear brother, my dear sister. Paul says, I always love that. I got right to do everything. But I will not be a slave to anything. I will not be a slave to anything. I am strong in my conviction. 
I am strong in my conviction. Not like somebody else who is weak, who turneth away, seeing their position, turning away, let come what me. I am convinced this is what the Bible says I want to do. I don't want to do something because I am scared of this world. I don't want to do this because I am scared of my relatives. I was at that time twenty-four years old. My marriage proposal. I come from a background which is a slave for jewellery. A background which is slave for jewellery. Or rather I can say mad for jewellery. I come from such background. They cannot imagine a marriage without Thali. They cannot imagine a marriage without Thali. At that time, I was working in Sishya, one of the richest schools in India. I am working in Sishya, which is the richest school, one of the richest schools in India. I am convinced the Bible says no jewels, no jewels. There is no thali in my, either in my Tamil uh, culture or there is no thali in the Bible and there is no need for a sign only for a woman and that sign is not going, may say that she is married but the sign doesn't say the man with her is her husband. With that thali she can walk with any other man, with that thali she can go to hotel with any other man, then she can stay with any other man. The thali doesn't say that that man is her husband. It is absolutely nonsense to say that thali gives her a platform of uh, honor. I was convinced. I said no marriage and no thali. I said no jewels. I said no jewels. What happened? Two of my brothers in law didn't come for my wedding. Only one reason there was no jewel. Only one reason there's no thali. When I gave invitation to one brother in law, he said, Thali arta kalyanatakana varla. Nothing else. They all loved me very much. They all loved me very much. I never borrowed money from them. There's nothing that they can be ashamed of me. Their brother-in-law is not a drunkard, their brother-in-law has never gone to the jail, their brother-in-law is not without a job, their brother-in-law is not a dependent. The only one reason no jewels. Stand like a liar. What the world would say, what my friends would say. No, I'm not talking about a jewels is right or wrong. No, I'm, this is not the topic. The topic is your conviction. Be strong. About John the Baptist, Jesus says, what is it you went to see in there? Just like a weed that dances to the blow of the wind. A weed that dances to the blow of the wind. No, John the Baptist was not. He was a lion. He was going like a he goat. He's like a king. In his own field, be strong. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in your conviction. Be strong in your subject. Be strong in your discipline. When you want to do something that valiant, prowess, whatever it may be. So your walk can be like a walk of a lion, or your walk can be well, your walk can be very calmly. Your steps, your strides are your lifestyle. You can have a head up when your conviction is strong. When your decision is strong. I don't want to touch this, I don't touch it. I <laughs> see You're ashamed. You don't have victory. Your walk will not be like a walk of a lion. Even in front of your children, you can't walk like a lion. Your children know very well. 
ಹಪ್ಪ ಸೋಪ್ಲಾಂಗಿ ಹಪ್ಪ ಅವ್ರು ಜೂ ಇಟ್ ಪಾರಿ ಆಮ ಇವ್ರು ಸುಮ್ಮಾ ಸೊಲ್ಲುವರ್ ಜೂ ಇಟ್ ಒಂದು ಚೊಂದ ಮಾರಿ ಸಹ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ದೇ ಕಟ್ ಅನ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಫಾದರ್ ಅರೆ ಅಂದ ಅಪ್ಪ ದನ ಕುಡಿಯಾರಪ್ಪ ಅವ ಏನತ್ತ ಸಪ್ಪರ ಅವನೇ ಅವನಲ್ಲ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಪಣಮಲ್ಲ ಅವ ಏನತ್ತ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಪಣಪ್ಪ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಪೀಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅಡೆ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಓನ್ ಹೌಸ್ your own children your own grandchildren your own wife your own husband they cannot respect you when you are not strong in your conviction if i want to do this i'll do this you know i don't want to do it i don't want to do it i'm convinced i'm convinced somebody says he's convinced i take liquor for the glory of god i'll take liquor and i do it for the glory of god it is good my wife you also drink take liquor my children you also take liquor it is good we all drink as a family for the glory of god he is convinced appa vadanun paakara vada mudiyala he is a coward avanalla mudiyala he could not have a walk like a lion but the pulling like manara children born to him he will put his head down how can he walk with the head down uh, the children may be scared of him the children may be scared of the mother he may be a ter- tyrant he may not be a king avan or bhayangaravadiya irukala avan raja va irukamatta children may be scared of the tyranny father the children cannot respect or follow the he goat that's in the father that's the nature so children to be successful in your studies that lion like nature is essence strength if i will not watch tv i take a decision i will not watch tv i will not watch tv i will not do anything that bring distraction to my studies i will not do that take a decision be firm you will walk like a lion that strength is very very essential you must be strong not just a strong brain many brainy people are not very successful but well disciplined people are successful well disciplined people are successful a strength to your conviction as i said on tirukkural thine alavu tavarinu a small mistake panai alavu adu nanikkanu just one minute late ayyo late at late at ayyo one minute late at one minute late at abadi thine alavu tavarani panai alavu ke nanachana un valke vetti valkiya irukku he'll be like a king abadi yaar nanipaga பழிக்கு அஞ்சு ஓர் பழிக்கு நானு ஓர் ஐயோ யார் என்ன பழிச்சு லேட்டாக வந்துட்டேன்னு சொல்லக்கூடாது அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு நாணம் ஒரு வெட்கம் ஒரு ஷேம் இருக்குமானா அந்த ஒரு நிமிஷம் ஒரு பெரிய ஒரு மணி நேரம் ஒரு நிமிஷம் பிந்தி வந்தால் என்ன இருக்குது என்ன முப்பத்தி நாலு மார்க் ஒரு மார்க்கு தானே போயிடுச்சு என்ன இருக்குது திஸ் இஸ் த ரீசன் ஒய் யூ ஆர் நாட் சக்ஸஸ்ஃபுல் in our education we know very well one who has taken 34 he may not know the or mark than a poetry or mark but one who has taken 99 will be ayyo or mark uttan ayyo or mark uttan ayyo or mark uttan adha thina yalavu polai varin ore or mark than but he knows the value of 100 you know i am unable to say centum i am unable to say centum the boys with me they know very well if i am to late by one minute you know how much i'll be ashamed you let up it you let up it you let it say my dear brother my dear sister that conviction is very very essential for you to be successful remember this phrase those who are ashamed of blame paliki nanuvor 
ashamed of blame even there is a small mistake like a millet thinai millet everybody knows what a millet is thinai therin children kai vittu kettunga millet okay millet thinai alavu thavaru varunu panai alavu nenikkanu appo you will not be put to shame you will not be put to shame you have a head up peed in that peed in that டைம் வந்துட்டோம் டீச்சர் போய் சாரி டீச்சர் சொல்லணுமா ஒரு நிமிஷம் முன்னால போயிட்டோம் நல்லா வேகமாக அப்படி கூத்துற மாதிரி நடந்து போகலாம் இல்லை வெக்கி இப்போ பா வந்து அடிப்பாங்களோ என்ன சொல்கிறது சாரி டீச்சர் சாரி டீச்சர் ஓய் ஓய் பிகாஸ் ஏ நாட் ஸ்ட்ராங் ஸோ நம்பர் ஒன் ஃபார் யூ டு பி சக்ஸஸ்ஃபுல் இன் எனி ஏரியா பி ஸ்ட்ராங் ஸ்பெஷலி ஸ்ட்ராங் இன் த லாட் ஸ்ட்ராங் இன் யுவர் கேரக்டர் strong in your discipline you will have a walk like a lion you will have a walk like a lion. you will be successful so the first point i want to call that valimai in tamil and the second one not giving up we read about a lion it takes its prey it breaks its prey into pieces that there's no one to deliver in another place when it takes its prey it's not afraid of the shouts of ha 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 by the shepherds not giving up a lion that doesn't turn away not giving up do or die that type of a uh persistency i have taken this decision i will do it even if i have to die on this let me die on this whatever could happen okay i decided to follow christ we will not give you property okay lord you know everything i am keeping jesus in my heart because i need property you are giving up your testimony koyilu pona adana illa na veetle irundhu chom pannikiren ena property poidu you can't walk like a lion even your own parents they will not be happy they will laugh at you na koyilu pona koyilu na yesu dhan kadavul na property nu dabal nu uttu tan koyilu poradhu you must have do or die not giving up never turning back the lion will not turn back this is my decision if i know my decision is wrong then i have to correct myself when i know my decision is right my conviction i am strong in my conviction then i will not turn back what people those who are not successful in one area generally 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 they are not successful in any other area they are not in any other area the type of a deep rooted conviction is very very essential not a let come what me will send you out of the house okay i will not turn back this is my i am strong in my conviction and the result of the strength in your conviction is no turning back my dear brother my dear sister to save time i want to go fast when you are strong in your conviction nothing will deter you from that conviction let come what may i have taken a decision let come what may i will not turn back i decided not to touch that again i will not touch it. even if i have to die because i don't touch it let me die without touching it then living with shame some people will love to die with fame some people will love to live with shame can you see some people love to die in fame 
he kept his faith he kept his conviction he died for his conviction some people love to die in their conviction some people love to live in their shame they can live for their conviction that killer instinct that's with the horse war horse that's with the lion i will not give it up i taken this spray i will break that into pieces i don't care anybody will shout anybody will scream i don't care this is the direction i will go if that conviction is positive will reach heaven if that conviction is negative will reach hell but you will stand for your conviction you will live for your conviction the second characteristic for your success especially for the children i say you want to study sit and study because somebody will shout you oh, oh, oh somebody is teasing you somebody is mocking at you somebody is saying oh, you you know we are led over my somebody something may say don't worry the second key for your success is your conviction and your persistency the strength of your conviction and the persistency in your conviction those on the teaching field share this with your students parents explain this to your children and especially teachers parents in your life ex- uh, express this show this in your life amma is standing for conviction amma will die in fame amma will not live in shame appa will die in fame appa will not live in shame that is the conviction you must show to your children glory be to the lord's holy name i call that pidam yerchi in the sulin vidamat balimai vidam yerchi i was preparing this in tamil i'm just sharing the tamil subtitles vetti nadai vetti nadai number 1 valimai vetti nadai number 2 vidamuyarchi vidamuyarchi utra kodath when you want to i will f- finish this lesson and go to bed you finish this lesson and go to bed i will read five chapters and go to bed you read five chapters and go to bed i know about one young boy probably at the time we was 22 or something which say i will kneel for 8 hours and pray he will kneel for 8 hours and he would be praying someday he would feel sleepy he wanted to fight against sleep is it right or wrong the young boy took a decision i can't allow sleep to come in my prayer he cut onion whenever sleep would come he would rub onion in his eyes and he would pray literally even then sometimes sleep will overtake eight hours six hours on his knees one day the young boy decided next time when i am praying if sleep comes I'll take chili and rub it on my eyes. He took a vessel, a tumbler, what a tumbler of water, cut chili into two pieces, put that in the water. Tonight when I pray, if sleep comes, I'll take this chili and rub it on my eyes. Let it come what may. There's the last day here the trouble of sleep. He never slept in prayer. that type of a drive you must have i am telling a real story story in life he took a decision i know people those who take this all through this night i am going to read the bible let come what me all through this night i am going to read bible 
I'll finish my homework, then only I go to bed. I finish this work, then only I'm going to eat. Take a decision like that. Not only for studies, for every area of your success. You can lift up your head and walk. God is the lifter of our head. My dear brother, my dear sister. Number three. Uh, this boldness to win. Boldness to win. Bellum dairium. You, by Marke, by Marke. A lion doesn't have that nature. When walking on the mountain top, the Bible talks about the he goats walking on the top. I don't know anybody remembers or not. Somehow I am unable to get that picture again. Anybody, I, some of our boys may remember in my desktop that background picture. I had the one he goat keeping all the four legs on a small peak, the sharp peak of a pillar of, of a mountain and standing. Anybody has seen that type of picture I had? Okay, he has seen that. I had it on my laptop, somewhere when I was uh, formatting that went away. It will not be scared, even to stand on, with all the four legs and a small, I, I loved it. I said, well, I must be able to stand like that. I must be able to stand like that. And one of the nature's essential, not a blind boldness, but a wise boldness. Wise boldness is essential. To encourage the children, I don't want you to be bold blindly, but be bold wisely. When I was about nine years old, nobody taught me how to ride a bicycle or anything. I thought, everybody is riding a bicycle, why can't I ride it? When somebody can do it, I can do it. It's not impossible. Everybody is riding a bicycle, I can ride it. I took a bicycle, I rode it. Exactly that's why I started driving a bike, I started driving a car. I know swimming from my time immemorial. I don't know when I learned swimming and all. From my childhood I know swimming. Swimming in the pond, swimming in the lake, swimming in the uh, well, 25 feet deep water. For me the simple understanding is it's a 5 feet, or 10 feet or 25 feet. I'm going to swim the same way. 25 feet is not going to make any difference. I'm going to float on the water. So underneath 25 feet or 100 feet makes no difference for me. That's a wise boldness. Wise boldness. I don't say you should be blindly bold. You should be blindly bold. No. If somebody can do it, I can do it. Yeah, boldness is very, very essential. I can do it. Once when we had for the camp, more a allegory camp, we had this as the theme. I can. I can. Physically, by creation, all cannot do all things. All cannot do all things. Everybody cannot be a good runner, everybody cannot be a good singer, everybody cannot be good in everything. I don't say that you can do all things. But in a better perspective, Paul says, I can do all things through Christ that strengtheneth me. Then what are the areas he strengthens me? I can do that. David says, because of, I mean, because of him, through him, I can run through a troop. I can leap over a wall. I can do it. I can do it. It's not that I can do all things on my own. Without Christ I can do nothing. But through Christ who strengthens me, I can do all things. That boldness, 
A war horse cannot be affrighted by the swords, by the shields. When you have this boldness, you want a negative ex excuses. Well, you have a singer, you have a karadi, you have a I can see why people are not successful in life. This, I mean, not to put anybody to shame. I asked one boy, why didn't you come for the first morning service? First reason, Tungite. Second reason, Allah machida, Allah machida, Allah maaf pante. Third reason, Amba kulundudu. So you as long as you have got excuses, you cannot be successful in life. In that kulir, anda kulur lada, by the grace of God, through Christ who strengthens me, in my 66, at that 4 o'clock, I bought in the cold water. I don't say anybody to be foolish, I don't want say that you have to fight against your health and all. It should be bold to face chillness. You must be bold to face the rain. You must be bold to face the storm. You must be bold to face the swords. You must be bold to face the difficulties. When you want to play hockey, you must be bold. When you want to play cricket, you have to be bold. They'll throw the ball at the speed of uh, 100 km per hour. And you've got a small bat with 6 inches width. You have to block that ball. 100 km speed the ball is coming. I don't know what the latest speed. Anybody can tell me cricket bowling the latest speed? Huh? 150. 150 kilometer per hour, I don't know, it could be. But if you are scared of that ball, you can't play cricket. If you are scared of algebra, you can't study algebra. You are scared of your books, you can't study any book. Abba, Urabuka. To be successful in your life, this boldness is very, very essential. When you see some situation, it will be threatening. How am I going to overlook these situations? It will be almost impossible. It will be almost impossible. But you must be bold. So number four, uh, number three rather, that's a dellum dairium. I can do it. And number four, let me go a little fast. I can call that ferocity in an animal, as ferocious as an animal, a lion, ferocity. When I talk about human beings, I don't want you to be ferocious, I want you to have that valor, viram, 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 viravanakkam. So that strength, that conviction, that strength, that conviction, that boldness lead you to valor. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it. The diary must give viram, not a calling. You want to be successful in your life, you must have this viram in lion, in war horse, in a he goat, in a king. You see that viram. In any poor ali, you'll see that viram. Without viram, you cannot fight. So the fourth character I want to tell you this viram. This viram is very, very essential for you to be successful. I like to confine with five. To save time, I love to pray for you and we got the Lord's Supper also. What is that viram 
in your studies, launching forth, participatarla, try, I am not allowed, no, I'll try. Get into the field. Swimming, okay, we'll try. Think what about it. I always say, as long as you are in a shallow water where your feet can touch the ground, you cannot land swimming. You can learn swimming only when you go to a water where your feet cannot touch the floor. How many of you know swimming here? I hear you, you. Only I see three and a half hands. Others don't know swimming. Now my church members, I am talking about swimming in, uh, I, I think that I should take you to the sea, to swim there. Anybody has done swimming in the sea? Only Joe and I, my student and I. Joe has, when he was in standard nine, he has seen his teacher swimming in the backwaters. You remember Joe? Huh? Yes. Only two people here, they know, they at least attempted swimming in the sea. We must have that viram. Lunch for. I can only keep in your question and the blame for nothing yet. You have that practice, everything enough for, you know, needed for that. But you can learn swimming. As, you can't learn swimming as long as your feet touch the ground. It's a golden saying. I have taught a few people swimming, but I always come to the deep waters. As long as you are standing on a shallow water, three feet, two and a half feet, nano simandra, nano simandra, nadakave, nadakave. Suppose you want to learn diving, that water must be at least eight or ten feet deep. Otherwise, your head will bang on the ground. Yes, you can't be scared of ten feet water and you want to learn diving. It's impossible. It's impossible. That viram is very, very essential, that valor. Apply that for your studies, apply that for your ministry. When the Lord called us for the same thing, same thing like swimming, same thing like war, same thing like ministry. When the Lord called us for ministry, six mouths to be fed. My father, my mother were with us, my wife, our two children and myself. Six mouths to be fed. I got job before my examination. There was not one single day I was without job. I can say till this morning. But when I was resigning my job, I didn't know from where my food will come. I didn't have any agreement with pastor. Pastor never said that he would pay, pay me monthly this much. No. We didn't look into pastor, we didn't look into our relatives, we didn't have any other source of income. That is the viram, launching for a patrana. God is calling, God is not going to forsake me. And I got God-given intelligence, I heard many stories how the servants of God suffered, and I heard the stories of Pastor Sundram, they didn't have money to buy milk for their children. But it was difficult. We came out for the ministry in June. The May salary was with me. We managed. In July, thousand rupees Pastor Sundaran gave me and we have got a house for seven hundred rupees, seven hundred rupees house rent, we had to pay for EB, I have to send two children to school, there's no one, not a single paisa anybody there to support me. With this three hundred rupees, six people had to eat, I had to send two children to the school, we had only two sets of uniform for each. With that also we had a life with the head lifted up. Every evening when the children would come, white dress will come in the brown color. Sister would wash. Every morning I would iron. Our children were looking up. Never they had a dirty clothes. 
and only two sets of dress with 300 rupees electricity charges our transport our uh, offerings my dear brother my dear sister that's the vera not to brag about you have to launch you have to run through the troop you have to try to jump over the wall is not after the lord will reveal everything no that's not a warrior this is the vera this vera is by faith this vera is because of his calling this vera is because i know faithful is he that has called me is because of that revelation july august september past asked me kapal epdi pod aadi aadi pod kapal na aadi aadi dhan pogum kettinga solren a turning point key so it is all related your boldness your valor and the last one i love to tell is the fifth one the leadership you take the lion it's a leader take the he goat it's a leader and take the king he is a leader about this king it says a king against whom there is no rising up a king against whom there is no rising up nobody can say anything against that king nobody is able to say anything against that king i call that with all my that all my say in our governments we say there are some chief minister nobody can say anything against that chief minister nobody can rise up against that chief minister they are chief minister the some people are chief minister everybody will say anything against them they don't have that all may and against somebody this can't be any nobody can come against them the other day one orator was giving a small illustration it was a circus company the last show is a show that animal show there is a lion there is a tiger there is a bear all ferocious animals a beautiful young women standing in the middle with a lash in her hand Ooh, the lion just she turns the lion the lion becomes quiet there is the bear oh she just turns that side the bear is quiet she makes all these animals sit on a small stool she standing in between them the lion the bear the tiger all the other animals even the elephant they all are quiet no animal is able to rise up against her she was able to keep all those animals on those stools and all those deer, uh, all those bears and the lions and the tigers <laughs> they are sitting quiet she is able to do it we call that person ring leader this leadership literally mean everybody keeping their place is not keeping others in that place there so many tigers so many lions in our life So when you are studying, there is a program that you love very much comes in the TV. Oh, you must be able to keep that lion in its place. When you are studying, your friend is coming and calling you for a birthday party. You want to go for the birthday party, but tomorrow is the examination. You must keep the tiger in its place. You must be able to keep the tiger in your place. and you want to get up at 4 o'clock oh you are feeling sleepy you have to control your sleep that's the leadership here it talks about nobody can rise up against no weakness can rise up against the sleep or coldness or chillness or rain or storm nothing can stop it that type of a king he must be able to keep that whether it's raining so no problem i want to go i'll be going that's a leadership it's talking about 
and he must be able to lead others in that path, in the right direction. That's the leadership of a father. If you are going to a pub, going to a pub is right. Going to a liquor place at a task mark is right. Lead your wife, lead your children, grandchildren, everybody there. You go before them with your head up. Going to the church is right. Lead them to the church. There's a leadership. Let the people follow you. You don't want your wife to follow you, you don't want your children to follow you, you don't want the believers to follow you, you don't want anybody to follow you, then you are not a leader. You are not leading anybody. Then to say that I am head of the church, what rubbish it is. I, don't, I say that you don't follow me. I tell the boys here, I tell the people here, follow me. As I follow Christ, not, it's not in every area, as I follow Christ, you follow me. What are the areas I am unable to be an example? I want to correct myself to be an example. That's the leadership. For that I have to control my desires. In every area. In every area. I have to set an example and say, follow me. Many times I tell this by saying, Arvata Raisal, you are running in a path, 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 you are running in a path. I have to be a leader. A Sunday school teacher must be a leader. A Sunday school teacher cannot follow the rules and regulations. A Sunday school teacher cannot be an example. Then how can you lead the flock? How can you lead the flock? With all sincerity, I tell you, I'm, I'm fighting against the time. The leadership must be able to control the lions and the tigers in your life. No one rising up against you. The lions are not rising. The lions in you. The tigers in you. The elephants in you. They are not rising up. That passions, that carnality. Then you can be successful. The, the majestic walk of a lion. The majestic walk of a he goat. The majestic walk of a war horse, the majestic walk of a king. That's a winsome walk. They are walking towards victory. The Lord wants to give victory to the children. These five points, the five elements, keep it drive home in your heart. You want to be successful? Be strong in your conviction. Be strong in what you are doing. You want to be successful? You must have that attitude, persistence in not giving up. I'll do or die. I will not give up in the middle. I will not give up in the middle. Do or die. Many times in preaching I've experienced that. I give my full strength in preaching, even if I die, let me die on the stage. That killer's instinct you must have. Do or die. And number three, boldness to win. I can do it. I can do it. When you have the strength of your conviction, when you have that persistency, do or die, when you got the boldness to win, you must have the valor. Launch forth. Jump into the water. Go to the battlefield. Smell the war. Get started. You can't be scared. This boldness must give you valor. When you have that valor, you must be able to control that nobody will rise up against your aim, your march. As you are marching towards your goal, no tiger, no lion can scare you. Lion is greater, but as a ringleader, she is able to control that lion. In Tamil we call that all may, all hindu tanmay. You must have all may in your life. I want to do it, I will do it. That all may for good thing. That all may is for spiritual things. That all may is towards success. Surely you will have success in whatever you do. Remember that Tirukura.
தீனை அளவு தவறு வரையணும் பனை அளவு நினைக்கணும் ஐயோ ஒரு தப்புன்ட்டு ஐயோ ஒரு நிமிஷம் கூட தூங்கிட்டு இருந்தேன் ஐயோ அஞ்சு நிமிஷம் கூட தூங்கிட்டு இருந்தேன் அஞ்சு நிமிஷம் தானே நோ தென் யூ கேன் பி சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் சக்சஸ் யூஸ் த லார்ட் வான்ஸ் டு கிவ் யூ சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் வேர்ஸ் தேர்ட்டி டூ இஃப் யூ வாக் லைக் ஃபூலிஷ் மேன் இஃப் யூ வாக் லைக் பைத்தியம் பைத்தியக்காரனை போல் நடந்தால் கையினால் வாயை பொத்திக்கும் கையினால் வாயை பற்றிக்க டோன்ட்ஸ் பிராக் அபவுட் யுவர் செல்ஃப் டோன்ட் பிராக் அபவுட் யுவர் செல்ஃப் தர் நத்திங் தட் யூ கேன் பிராக் அபவுட் அன்லஸ் யுவர் வாக் இஸ் லைக் எ லாயன் அன்லஸ் யுவர் வாக் இஸ் லைக் அ ஹீ கோட் ஐ கேன் டூ திஸ் ஐ கேன் டூ தே பைத்தியக்காரன் யூ ஹேவ் டன் எனி திங் I am going to get 10C, I am going to get 20C, I am going to be the king, I am going to be the next prime minister, I must have high ambition. Foolish boy, you don't have anything to eat for tomorrow. You can't be successful in your studies, you can't be successful in your ministry, you can't be successful in any job. You are walking like a Paityakara. Now you are saying that you are going to have all these things, it's only Paityakara. Your walk is the walk of a Paityakara. கையால் வாயை பொத்தி கூட ஒன்றும் பேசாது ஷோ இட் இன் யுவர் லைஃப் ஷோ த சக்ஸஸ் இன் யுவர் லைஃப் ஷோ த சக்ஸஸ் இன் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் ஃபைவ் ஷோ த சக்ஸஸ் இன் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் சிக்ஸ் ஷோ த சக்ஸஸ் இன் யுவர் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் டுவெல் ஷோ த சக்ஸஸ் இன் யுவர் ஐஏஎஸ் ஷோ த சக்ஸஸ் இன் யுவர் ஐபிஎஸ் நாட் அ லெக்சர் பாஜி படா பஜ்ஜி அப்படிமா show it in your life show it in your business show it in your career through christ you can do all things god will be your strength god will give you the grace i can go on and on shall we just pray shall we all stand to our feet this is a message to everybody and especially and especially it's a message to the children those who are going for exams now we are going to have two prayers i would like you to pray that this message can be a blessing to everybody here and then i'll especially call out the children those who are appearing for exams and i'll pray for them jo will it is in prayer that this message can be a blessing for everybody that we need not put our head down and walk we can lift up our head and walk this is the picture i had and I'm, i'm happy the boys have got that picture like a he goat like a he goat you can you can be bold on any challenging situation and thank you boys god bless you we'll those are appearing for examination school or college or professional course uh, continuing education uh, distant education whatever it may be those are preparing for any type of examination and those are in the teaching field those are preparing students for examination please kindly stand to your feet we'll pray for you hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord 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 praise the lord. any department examination also those want to be prayed for and let's stand to your feet i love to pray hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah ban namar raba rabu shan namar raba di namar raba raba shan karaba di ro dear father god we thank you we praise you we worship you o lord as your servant o lord with all the legends i commit every boy every girl every brother sister standing o lord into your hands dear father god give them this winsome walk in their life o lord and also good memory power good health your grace your knowledge and wisdom the capacity to understand what they study and to retain it in their memory cells and reproduce the same in their examination o lord Lord we sincerely pray that in their family in their life give them the conducive situation that they would be able to write their examination well 
they are preparing for their examination now. In your name I rebuke all the powers of distractions, O Lord. That they could have no distraction, O Master God, whatsoever in their life. And also I pray for the people in the teaching faculty. With all their sincerity, they are doing their duty, O Lord. I commit all the students under their care. All the peoples under their care. The people they are coaching them. Dear Father God, as a good farmer, expecting for a harvest. Our Lord, with all labor, they are expecting a good result to our Lord. Dear Father God, let the children bring forth that result. Give them the way to coach the children, especially for the examination, O oh Lord. Let your grace be upon them. We thank you, we praise you, we worship you. Bless your people with all your abundant blessings. In Jesus' matchless name, we pray. Amen.